When you know how to change negative beliefs you will take control of your life. One of the best ways of improving self-esteem is by changing negative beliefs about yourself. Specifically, you want to change negative beliefs about yourself to positive beliefs about yourself. You can do the same with all your negative beliefs. Negative beliefs about money and negative beliefs about life Negative belief about worry that you may have a negative beliefs about love and relationships Negative beliefs about the world It has been proven that those negative beliefs can literally change your perception of the world. Negative beliefs about yourself are like SLES around your legs preventing you from achieving good things in your life. Positive self-beliefs are the opposite, they are the wind beneath your wings, but how do you change beliefs about yourself? Actually, it is not as hard as you might think. Provided you put in a little effort, you can easily change negative beliefs to positive, and when you do that, you will regain self-confidence. Here's is why should change negative beliefs to positive. Below I will show you how to change negative beliefs about yourself. But first, why should you do it? Positive self-beliefs can have a huge effect on the way you live your life. Just by changing your self-talk to positive you can transform the way you feel about yourself, and in so doing you will transform your life. You may wonder what the effect of negative self-beliefs and positive self-beliefs is. Beliefs lie deep within our minds. They are the foundations of our psychology. Our personalities, our attitudes, our actions, these things are all are affected by self-beliefs, positive and negative. The human mind focuses on things that substantiate its beliefs. 1. If you believe you are highly successful, your mind will filter out any evidence to the contrary. Your mind will actually look for evidence that supports your beliefs. At the same time, your mind will ignore all evidence that goes against your beliefs. This is why even your name affects your personality. If you have a strong sounding name, Griffin, for example, your subconscious mind is constantly being given evidence that you are a strong person. Your mind automatically scans for evidence to support your beliefs. And it will also create evidence to show that your beliefs are accurate. If you have positive beliefs about yourself your mind will look for good things about you. If you have negative beliefs about yourself your mind will look for negative things about you. A large part of what motivates us in life is the need to prove that our beliefs are correct. Positive self-beliefs demand positive actions. Negative beliefs about yourself will demand negative actions. Here's how to change negative beliefs about yourself to positive beliefs about yourself. It is easy to see why it's so important to have positive self-belief. It is amazing what happens once you learn to start thinking positively. It doesn't matter who you are, what life you were born into, where you came from, what limitations have been put on you. The truth is the same for everyone. The more positive beliefs about yourself that you have, the better you will be. The people who succeed are the ones who believe they will succeed. The high achievers are people who believe they will achieve things. The People who are happy are the ones who believe they are happy if your mind is of negative beliefs about yourself. Example, that you are born to fail, you will never be successful. This is because your mind will actually create a reality that supports your negative self-beliefs. The only thing you can do about this is to change negative self-beliefs to positive ones. Otherwise you will always be stuck in life. So, how how to improve self-belief? Meditating helps, how to change negative beliefs about yourself by meditating here's the good news, there are some really good self-belief exercises, and you can use those exercises to change negative beliefs about yourself to positive self-belief, all you need to do is, find your belief sect against them. Let's elucidate that. Let's say, for instance, you want to be super fit and healthy, but deep down you believe you are an overweight person, you want to go to the gym, but your mind says, I can't go to the gym. I'm overweight and unhealthy, so you don't go to the gym. You stay overweight, and you fail to meet your object. And all because of that one negative belief about yourself which holds you back. What do you do? Well obviously you just go to the darned gym already despite your negative belief. But it's usually not that easy. Problem is this. Your negative beliefs usually aren't immediately obvious. Unless you've been practicing third eye, ajna, meditation or some other technique designed to make you more aware of your own mind, you might not actually know what your real beliefs are. 
Answer these quick fire questions to see how aware you are of your own beliefs. Write down your answers for future use. 1. Name 5 positive beliefs you have about yourself. 2. Name 3 ways in which you act out those positive beliefs. 3. Name 5 negative beliefs you have about yourself. 4. Name 3 ways you act out those negative beliefs. Now here's how to change negative beliefs about yourself. 5. Write down the opposite of each negative belief if one negative. Belief was, I'm unattractive, write down, I'm attractive, 6. Decide one thing you would do if you had that positive belief, for instance, if your new positive belief is, I'm attractive, you might write down, I will spend some money on clothing and go out this weekend looking amazing, 7. Do the one positive action you wrote down for each negative belief, from stage 6 above, this technique will start to change your negative self-beliefs. It is my number one favorite self-belief exercise. You will struggle to change negative beliefs about yourself if you can't properly identify them. There is one problem with changing negative beliefs about yourself. Your mind often moves too fast for you to keep up with. The information that flies through your brain moves at up to 200 miles per hour. 2. It's there one second, gone the next. Blink and you miss it. So catching your negative self-beliefs is equivalent to catching a bullet. For instance, the belief, I'm an overweight person so I can't go to the gym, might stay in your brain for literally a hundredth of a second. And if you miss it, it's gone, having already corrupted you before you've even noticed it. But not only do you miss it, that negative self-belief will germinate. While that negative self-belief is tearing through your brain at 200 miles an hour it's also producing negative thoughts in your mind. All in all, a negative belief is like a rocket launcher in a china shop. Here's how negative beliefs about yourself are affecting you. Here is an example of a positive belief about yourself. You experience a belief, I'm fit, healthy and beautiful. That belief creates a thought, if I'm fit, healthy and beautiful I must work out quite a load. A second thought logically follows, if I work out a lot I must be athletic. It continues, if I'm athletic I might as well go pro. Oh look, I just hired a personal trainer. While all this is happening, your mind is scanning for evidence to support your beliefs. Here is an example of a negative belief about yourself. Self-belief, I'm fat so I don't belong in the gym. Observation, yeah, my belly's pretty massive actually. Don't want those fit gym people looking at my fat gut. This creates a secondary thought, if I don't belong in the gym, I'm probably not the type of person who exercises. Observation, yeah, I don't have any muscles and my body seems to be withering away. Thought, if I don't exercise, I'm probably unhealthy. Observation, I do feel a little sick. Maybe I should just curl up and binge watch Netflix. Thought, if I'm unhealthy I'm probably going to be ill. Observation, I've got a headache, maybe I should go to the doctor. So then you end up going to the doctor when you wanted to go to the gym, and the doctor looks at you like, well, you're healthy, but kinda mental. Negative self-beliefs lead to negative actions. That's why you need to know how to change your beliefs about yourself. What happens if you change that negative belief about yourself? Example, let's take a look. Self-belief, I am going to be thin and healthy in a few months so I should go to the gym. Observation, hey, I'm not as fat as I was a few weeks back. Let's keep this up. Where are my running shoes? Thought, if I'm going to run I should start doing some stretches. Observation, yeah, these stretches feel good. And look at me, I'm exercising already. So within a few seconds of having that positive self-belief you're doing the thing you wanted to do, and you're moving towards your goal of losing weight and being healthy. This perhaps is one reason why scientists recently proved that positivity makes you healthier. How to change negative beliefs about yourself exercises, so now we've been smacked in the face with a new understanding of why self-beliefs matter so much, what the hotcakes we gonna do about it. Here's how to improve self-belief by stopping negative beliefs about yourself. Step 1. Meditate to slow your mind. There are over 100 benefits of meditation. And one of the best benefits is that it slows down your mind. It's easier to catch your thoughts and beliefs when your mind is clear and when you've slowed down. 
Meditation helps a lot. Meditation will slow down your mind and will increase self-awareness. Meditation will also make it easier for you to spot those pesky negative self-beliefs. But what if you don't want to meditate or you have meditated but it didn't work? What else can you try? Step 2. Belief Journal Filling out a belief journal is a great way to become more aware of your recurrent negative thoughts and beliefs. How to use a belief journal Grab yourself a little notebook. In that notebook, write down every negative self-belief that runs through your mind. Important thing is to become more aware of your thoughts and beliefs. Writing them down helps because you then have them on paper and can analyze them as you wish. Once you've written your list of negative beliefs, change them. Go through your list one by one and act in spite of the negative belief. For instance, if you're a dude who thinks women don't want to talk to you, talk to them anyway. 99 times out of 100 you will find that your negative self-belief is garbage. That girl will talk right back to you happily. And with one action you have erased your negative self-belief and it can no longer corrupt your mind and ruin your life. So, find your negative beliefs about yourself, write them down, and then act in spite of them. Step 3. Monitor your thoughts and look for patterns. Think about the thing you're struggling with. Weight loss, for instance. Now write down the thoughts that come to mind. I'll never be fit because I'm too lazy to exercise. There's just not enough time in the day to work out. People will judge me if they see my fat ass running. You don't look good in running pants. Now look for the patterns. There is an obvious pattern to the thoughts above. They all involved other people seeing us exercising, so clearly the negative belief here is that exercising will be a nightmare. The commonality is exercise. Get your butt to the gym and exercise. Just do it thanks, Nike. Step 4. Smash through fear If you manage to act in spite of this negative self-belief you will effectively be taking an axe to those negative beliefs and cutting and dicing them into oblivion. Problem is fear gets in the way. For years our negative beliefs make us see negative aspects of reality. If we have spent years believing exercise hurt then we will look for ways in which exercise does hurt. That will make us fearful of exercising. And it can be hard to beat such ingrained fears. I've written a guide to how to stop fear. Take a look. How to change your beliefs about your future beliefs control actions. Actions control reality. If you want to change your future, you need to know how to control your beliefs about your future. Relax. It's not as hard as it sounds. You might believe you exist in a time and place, that right now your life is confined to the house you're in or to the job you're working in, to your relationship or to any other external matter. Truth is, the deeper aspect of your reality occurs within. Your existence resides in your mind, in your beliefs, in your deeper spiritual plane and if you want to control your future, you need to control your beliefs. Are negative self-beliefs holding you back? When you have negative beliefs about yourself you will prevent yourself from succeeding. Those negative beliefs affect your subconscious mind, which then negatively influences your reality. Example, one of my good friends is a network administrator. Sitting in his leather office chair at work, his fingers drumming like a cricket's legs on the keyboard, he sighs. I'm sick of this. Wish I could escape. Go off somewhere. Maybe camping with my dad like old times. He taps his foot against the chair impatiently. According to the Chartered Institute of Personal Development, one in five people are so dissatisfied of their jobs that they are thinking of leaving even though they have no other job offer to go to. Right now I don't care if I take a pay cut, my friend tells me. I'm so unhappy here, and the stress is affecting my health. Now I've got diabetes, he answers a phone call. There's a muffled angry voice on the other side. He hangs up. I give him a minute before asking why he hasn't left his job yet. Probably wouldn't find another job quick enough. Have to pay mortgage. You know, life, he says. I point out that he could look for another job before leaving his current one. He just shrugs. Too many people feel the same way, trapped in a job they don't like but feeling unable to leave. 
What keeps them there? Money problems, maybe. Being too attached to their current job? Possibly. Or it could be that deep down they just don't believe that they could ever find a job that pays well enough while also giving them the lifestyle they deserve. I know the feeling. When I used to work for a share dealing company I made money but I was never happy. When I told my boss I was going to quit my job I had sweat dripping down my forehead. This was while I was learning how to deal with fear in life, my heart beat like a kettle drum in my ears. It wasn't easy. But I did believe that it would be possible for me to succeed doing a job I genuinely enjoyed. That belief was what got me through. You can discover your beliefs by asking some self-reflection questions. Create positive self-beliefs and you'll act in positive ways. Actions always stem from beliefs. If you believe you have to struggle in order to make money, then you will struggle. It's a self-fulfilling belief. You won't ever change your action unless you change your beliefs first. But if that's the case, if beliefs cause action, how do you change your self-beliefs so you act in a more positive way? Beliefs are elusive, difficult to target, difficult to change. But thanks to science we know that beliefs are created through emotions, and we can change those emotions. As Mary C. Lanya, Ph. D says, emotions are a powerful attention-directing system, an amplification device, in our brain. They are responsible for creating the visceral responses regarded as feelings, that in turn are transformed into thoughts and the formation of beliefs to help us make sense of what we experience at the moment and to use for future reference. Even the most simple beliefs have emotional memory at their core, so now you know how to improve self-belief by controlling your emotions. And there is a fantastic way to control your emotions, emotional memory technique. I mastered the art of emotional memory technique when I was studying drama at Oxford. Every feeling you've ever felt resides in your mind, waiting to be accessed, my teacher said. The way to access those feelings is through emotional memory technique. Emotional memory technique is a tool that all method actors use when performing. They use the technique to create the real emotions that they need for their scenes. Now obviously we don't have scenes, our scenes are our lives. They're real, not some story. But even so, we can use emotional memory technique to create positive emotions, and those positive emotions will in turn create positive beliefs, and those positive beliefs will yield positive actions. How to change beliefs about yourself by meditating on your emotion shares how to improve self-belief by meditating. It's an emotional memory recall technique used by actors. Point 1. To start with spend 5 minutes with your eyes closed meditating on breathing. Feel that calm and peacefulness. Let thoughts slip from your mind like leaves on a tree in autumn. Point 2. Now choose one positive emotion, a positive emotion that will bring positive belief that in turn will bring positive actions. For my friend, I asked him to imagine what it felt like when he was camping. 